Welcome back everybody to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over how you can use the simple KML module to create points, lines, polygons, and circles. A couple notes before we get started. You can use the Google Maps What's Here to get latitude and longitude coordinates. Another option is to use the QGIS application Coordinate Capture. If you would like more information about Simple KML and the PolyCircles modules, you can go to the Python package index at python.org. Once you have the KML files created, you should be able to open those in Google Earth Pro, QGIS, and Tableau. For the imports, we have imported Simple KML, PolyCircles, Subprocess, and Pandas. Okay, so for our first example, we're going to plot a single point. The first thing we do is we create an instance of simple KML, and we assign that to the point KML variable. Then we use the point KML variable dot new point. Then we put in the name and the coordinates, with the longitude first and then the latitude. Then here we have created our path, and then we use the point KML dot save, and we put in the path of where we would like to save it. Now we're going to go ahead and open this up in Google Earth Pro. And to do that, we use subprocess, and we imported that here. Dot call. Then we use open, and we put in the path. Let's go ahead and run it. The point that we created was for the San Diego Zoo, and we can see it right here. And we can see the KML file here. For the next example, we're going to plot several points. So we've gone ahead and created three lists with information for each of the points, which will mark a location of a Frisbee golf course near the Indianapolis area. In the first list, we have the names, then we have the longitudes, and then here we have the latitudes. Using those lists, we have created a data frame. The next thing we do is we create our simple KML instance, and we assign that to the points KML. Then here, we loop over the data frame using iter tuples. Then we reference our points KML variable and we use dot new point. Then we go ahead and we put in the names and the coordinates. We use the I from the for loop and then we access the names, the longitudes, and the latitudes. Here we have created our path. We use points KML dot save and we put in the path. And then here we're going to use subprocess again to open up the KML file. Let's go ahead and run it. And since Google Earth Pro is already open, it's just going to go ahead and add that KML file. And we can see the KML has been added here. And our points added to the map. Next, let's go over how we can plot some lines. We create our simple camel instance. Then we use that instance dot new line string. And inside the new line string round brackets, we put the name, the description, and the coordinates. And what this is going to do is it's going to plot a path from Chicago to Indianapolis to Columbus. So the first set of coordinates is for Chicago. The second set of coordinates is for Indianapolis. And the third set of coordinates is for Columbus. Then here we have some code for some styling. Here we've gone ahead and increased the line width. And here we've gone ahead and changed the color of the line to aqua. We create our path and save the KML file. And let's run it. You can see that the lines KML has been added here. And then here we have our route starting in Chicago, then going to Indianapolis and then to Columbus. Next, let's go over an example of how you can create a polygon. So we go ahead and create our instance, then we use that instance dot new polygon. Then we go ahead and put in the name and some coordinates for the outer boundary and the inner boundary. Okay, for the outer boundary, we start out with a set of coordinates, and this is the start point. And this polygon is going to be kind of like a square or a rectangle. So here we have the start point, and then it's going to go to this set of coordinates, then to this set of coordinates, and then to this set of coordinates, and then we go ahead and finish up with the same set of coordinates that we started with to go ahead and close off the shape. 
And then here we do the same thing for the inner boundary coordinates. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see we have our polygon. Now, if you wanted to change the style, you could do that in your code or you could do it here. Like that. Okay, so for our last example, let's go over how we can plot a circle. And for the circle example, we're going to use this import here. We go ahead and we start out with a reference to the polycircles module. Then we use dot polycircle. Then inside the round brackets, we put the latitude, longitude, radius, and number of vertices. And note that the radius is in meters. Then we assign that to the polycircle variable. Next, we create our simple KML instance. Then we go ahead and use that instance dot new polygon. We put in the name, and then for the outer boundary is argument, we use our polycircle variable that we created here dot to KML. We have assigned that to the circle variable. Using this code, we've gone ahead and assigned the color green to the circle. Let's run it. And you can see we have our circle. Okay, so you'll notice that all of the KML files have been saved to our desktop. And we did that using our path here. So let's go over a couple other ways that you can open these up. One way is to double click, or you can right click and open with Google Earth Pro. Another way to open KML files is to use QGIS. And in this case, we're just going to simply drag the file in, like that. And you can see we have our circle. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.